Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of uh, HBM Mod. Last episode, uh, I forgot what we were doing. But anyway, I've just been uh, building a big circle. Yeah, it, it, it really sucks, because I just had a fixed section of the circle. So, like, right here, this section was too short. Uh, I had three blocks in this diagonal, and then over here, uh, I was checking to make sure this lined up. But then, uh, I actually had four of these to start out with, and that was not very fun. <laughs> building circles by hand is um, quite extraordinarily difficult when you're building big circles. Also, another thing is that this place is so uneven that I have three chests of dirt now. And, uh, yeah, it's it's just a lot of dirt. Plus all those trees are gonna have to go. <laughs> have to cut down all the trees. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna work on the, um, HEV armor. Yep, that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do today. I don't care if we wanna do the RBMK next. I don't even know what we're gonna do for the RBMK design. We're just probably gonna build some RBMK columns if we do anything for that. So, we're gonna start off with HEV stuff. And let's get started with this. So we're going to need to make a bunch of that. I think we'll start off with Minecraft Grade Copper. Making a stack of this to get ready for that. And while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on the other stuff. I'm going to get rid of all this coal. Perfect. And we'll just give that some time to do its stuff. So what I'm planning for for this big area is that this center area is going to become like a new place for machinery. We're probably going to put... The reactor, our first reactor is going to go in here. And we'll build off from this building. And we're going to build like a bit of a pit down here. So there's going to be like a big chamber and a pit right here. It's going to be pretty big. So the way I count out these sections is I just do this, then this, and that marks out five. Or from this piece it would be five technically. Well... Five from that piece, I guess. Is it five from that piece? Let me go check. I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Because if I mess this up, then I have to redo it later, and that's not going to be fun. So it is about... It's about four pieces, and... Uh, well, technically it's five, if you consider from this wall, it's five. So that would be... Both of those combined makes ten. And then this middle piece here is eighteen. So I don't I don't know why I decided to go with eighteen. I just kind of built this thing. I didn't really care about the size. I should have gone with sixteen and chunk of line the whole thing. But, nah... Oh, that's an interesting view. Love me some good concrete. Oh, my. Oh, well, that's an interesting thing. You, 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 what? What? <laughs> this is legitimately a mob spawner. Hold on, let me, get a, let me get a step back here. Let me get a bit of it. Oh, we could probably make a farm like this. We could just build, like, one of them things, like a little block out there. I need this rotten flesh anyway for food, so I'm I'm all good with this. So the next segment of the wall is going to go down here, it looks like. I don't really do much building, usually. In fact, I try to avoid building because it's the most boring part, honestly, to watch somebody build. But I'm building circles today, and that's very exciting because building circles is a pain, so... <laughs> Oh, well, also, we have to wait for the Minecraft Great Copper to finish. Which, I mean, I honestly don't need to do that. Uh, to make a bunch of it. I'm just making it because I know we're going to need a bunch. And to be... If we calculate out how much we need, we need about... Four of those. Four of those. So that's eight. Eight plus three is eleven. Okay, we'll just do twelve plus three is fifteen. So we'll need fifteen times four... Of the so that's about 60 minecraft grade copper and the second we go back there it should all be done already I mean, it's not gonna take that long to make 60 of them and then uh, actually we don't even need 60 We just need 30 of them I'm still making a stack just in case So yeah, the first step in making any of these armor sets that I, I would recommend this step first You just calculate out the plates you're gonna need like what materials you gotta need for them plates and uh, this is basically almost done, <laughs> because of all the building we just did. So, we'll need... So, we need to make 15 of these guys, right? And that would be 7 of them, technically. 8. So, 8 of these will do the trick to make... Is that correct? No, it is not correct. What? 
We need to get 60, so we need to double it. It would probably be 16. 16 will probably do the trick. So we're going to have to smelt these two together. The steel and the Minecraft great copper. There we go. That should do. Pull these out. Let's just go ahead and do this. Perfect. And we'll shove in the sticks. Oh, no. So while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the rest of the armor. It needs polymer bars for each piece, which we got that covered. The dash motors are a pain. The titanium armor will be pretty easy. And let's go ahead and find my titanium because I have a bunch of it in one of these boxes here. Did I put it in the box? Oh, yeah, I did. Perfect. I've started storing all the materials in boxes because I have so much materials and stuff. So we're going to start making the armor. Just, just, just making the titanium armor. This is the base of it. Uh, a lot of sets use the titanium armor for the base. Pretty sure most of the power armor sets do. Well, a few of them do. And not most of them. Some of them use other power armor sets as a base. So if you get to, like, the high tier ones, those are, like... Yeah, but we're making one that's gonna be good for nuclear stuff. What I mean good is... I, this, is this is the best armor in the game. It doesn't even matter for nuclear stuff. Like, this is good armor. This is the best armor. Well, I mean, it's 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 relatively good. So, here's going to be the crate where I'm going to stage everything. This is going to be a staging area for all the different stuff we're going to make. So, to get started, I guess we could orient these as though they're the recipe that we're making. Yeah, it's stupid, but, uh, yeah, I guess if you want to memorize how to make the stuff, you could do it that way. Or you could just shove it all in here and then figure it out later. Which is what I'm going to do, probably. I saw that one of those things needs a thing... A mask piece, a filter. That should be it. That's for that guy. And he also needs a circuit. Uh, one of the fancy circuits. So let's go ahead and see if we need a fancy circuit. Okay. Oh, also, every one of them is going to need two bake light. Oh, I think I found a way to do this pretty good. So one, two. One, two. The only one that doesn't, doesn't need bake light is the boots. Everything else needs bake light. So, boom. Check that out. That's how I'm going to organize everything, I think. And the motors needs dash motors, dash servo motors, whatever. Yep. I actually got blessed a couple yesterday. I got blessed with uh, the stupidest meteor ever. This thing was covered in treasure blocks. <laughs> and this is a very very rare thing that happens this is i mean it's not as rare as the time that i was in a server and a b92 laser pistol fell out of the sky but um yeah this is this stuff is rare but whenever it happens you just bless <laughs> now i had that happen to me in a single player world one time that i was just doing on my own and uh i i, I mined one of them and i got this thing called the glitch and it's it said it, it's a gamble right and then I mined, I used, oh, I already have the circuit in here, nice. I'll just make another one, just because in the future it'll be nice to have one. <laughs> and so I used the glitch, it's a gamble at my base, not not realizing that it was going to completely nuke everything, and then I was just left with a massive hole in my base. Yeah, that that was a fun experience. Okay, now this recipe, let me show you the, the way to make this good. Make it on an anvil. That's how you make this on. Also, good thing we made all that Minecraft grid cover. Because that stuff is going to be coming in handy right now. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to make six of those. So that's going to be for the motors. But also, keep in mind, each motor is going to need a golden ring. And each golden ring is going to cost us, like, two of these. So that's going to be a total of eight of those. And we're going to get this armor all set up today i think i think we're gonna equip it with the best servos we can get i think because i do have the dash to make a load of good servos so if hev armor it gives you a speed boost uh it also gives you jump boost protects you from monoxide fire does not protect you against lava though so if you swim in lava this will not protect you against that that's the only disadvantage, is that it, you just die if you fall in lava. You're, you're dead. Toast. <laughs> Not really much you can do about lava, but... Otherwise, it's a really good armor. For basically everything. 
Doesn't matter what it is, it can probably do it. We also need some dash ingots, and then we just need the wires. So, after this we'll make the servos as well. Plus, we'll make it so that way we can get strength by swimming in this poison water, which I got from the wasteland. This is gonna be amazing. Because there's actually a thing that we have. Serum. <laughs> so that gave us 64. Okay, so 8 times 8 is 64. Yep, that makes sense. We're gonna go ahead and proc that through the crafting table and make it into the thing. I think it's gonna rain today, guys. I think it's gonna rain today. It is June tw uh, 6, 28, 2024. I think it's gonna rain today, guys. Like, honestly, it is looking gray outside. And I know, in my experience, that whenever the sky looks kind of grayish, it's probably going to rain. Especially this time of year. But during the winter, you don't really know. You know what? I'll teach you how to be a weatherman. Yeah, we'll... we'll <laughs> I predict the weather with, like, 90% accuracy most of the time. So, it's pretty good. Usually, I just look at how thick the clouds are and which direction they're coming from. Right? I mean, it doesn't really matter which direction they're coming from. It's just nice to know which direction, like, you can estimate the time of arrival for the clouds. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's basically it. Holy crap, these are the Dash Servos. I, I just... Huh. Okay. Well. Time for the next hard part. Making... This is not enough. That is not enough. We need eight more of those, I think. You know what? We're just gonna do 16 more. 16 more with some steel. Yep. I need to actually go and mine more steel because I am... doesn't matter how low I am, I'm always running out of steel. I don't care if it's... I'm not running out of steel. Look. I got seven stacks of steel almost. I'm running out of steel. <laughs> it's not enough steel, okay? Yeah, that covers the top two pieces. Then this one's three and this one needs four. So that one needs 16 and the... Yeah, so. And I don't know what happened to all of the advanced copper we, or advanced stuff we had in here, but it just disappeared. So, I, I mean, I think it got a vapor mercade or something. Something stupid happened. Okay, so you think, we're probably done, right? We got the stuff to make, nope. Hold on one second. You gotta make these first, right? And how many of these do we need? Well, I, I, uh, not as sure. I will go ahead and figure that out. So, we need two times as many of those we need. And we figured out that was 15, right? Because we got 12 in those and three in these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 30 of these. And then for the ingots, it will be half as many ingots of steel. And for the bolts, it will be a, a horrendous number, probably. Because they're four times? What is this for the bolts? It is four times, so that will be 60 bolts. 60 bolts, just uh, and uh, 30, no, 15 of these. Perfect. There you go, that's how you do math. And we'll just make 64 bolts because it doesn't matter. It does not matter having extra. And that's how I'm, look at this, this is looking beautiful. <laughs> All we gotta do is put that garbage together in a second. And it's done. Except there's one other thing we need. That we have to make first. And I'm forgetting what that is. It's tungsten wire in it. Correct. Actually. I did not realize. And I don't even have any tungsten smelted, do I? I don't process tungsten ever. So we're gonna have to process some tungsten today. Actually, let's check here for wires just in case. Because there might be some up there. There isn't. What about in this box? Uh, not that one. This one. Nope, not in there either. Okay, then we'll have to process this the good old-fashioned way. Lead. Don't know why I'm processing lead. Oh, wait, lead gives you gold, by the way. Just not realize. That is pretty useful. Yeah, we're gonna smelt all that up. And then we'll make sure to take care of this at some later date. I think four covers the entire set of armor. So that is... that. That's all we need. That is it. I mean, I think it actually might be 18, or more than 4. So Something more than 4, probably. But I don't care. I'm just gonna say 4 anyway, and just hope I'm right. Okay? Just, just hope. 
And we're we're getting low on tungsten. Really low. Desperately low. If we consider that each of these needs 6, and we need 15. 6 times 15, well we got 60, and then 6 times 5, which is, uh, 30? So it's 90 of them? And we all know that 90 is 32 plus 64. No, that is not it. That would give us 96, but that is not right. So we just have to subtract 6 from that. So it'd be, um, 32 minus 6 is... Well, let's just do that right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, I'm not good at math, but... <laughs> Complex math. So it's 26 plus 64 makes 90. Okay. And we're short. A little bit. But I haven't smelled up any more of these ingots. And if I smell up these ingots, I won't be short. 1, 2. That's all I need. <laughs> that will make 16. And uh, it's way more than we need, but hey, extra's fine. Doesn't matter if you have extra. You just don't want to be short on it. And we're done. We are legitimately done. We have finished the armor. That is HEV armor. But I just got to put it all together now. So let's go ahead and get started on those plates. So these are called iron shod plates. Are what we're making for... Are they called iron shod plates? I don't even remember. I don't... It's been a while since I made this. But we'll get started making these HEV plates or whatever. So you take your... Why do we only have 38 of these? We're supposed to have 60 of them. Eh, 64? I'll just drop off some of those into this one. 60. Boom. Okay, we're back up to where we need to be. Smash those into plates. We're gonna smash nothing else into plates. We're gonna start making the plates on this guy. This guy can make the plates for the HEV armor. I'm not sure where they're at. Oh, they're back. Oh, no. No, it can't make the HEV plates. It needs a better anvil. We need to get uranium. Well, that's not a setback. It, it's not a big setback, at least. Wait, it doesn't need... It does not need a ferro uranium anvil, does it? What? Is there any other options for a tier 4 anvil? Let's go ahead and take a look at the tier 4 anvil options. Because I'm sure there's got to be another tier 4... Nah, it's just ferro uranium. Okay. And that needs uranium 238. I guess we're gonna have to do uranium stuff next episode. Which, I mean, it's not a big setback. It just sets us back an episode on making this armor. But I am. I am very excited with the progress we've made. So we'll put three there. And we'll just get this back into its organized state. Alright, so it's 16, 16, 12, 16, 26, 26, 18, 26. And four, four, three, four. There you go. That's that's how I'm organizing those for now. <laughs> I thought we'd be able to do that today. It's kind of sad, but guess what? Next episode, we're doing uranium stuff, so that's more exciting.